Oh, how I love September. September is a month that is cherished by so many of us, and I think I finally know why. September is the first month that gives us permission to rest, slow down, and reset. So you're just a whiny butt? Mm hmm Okay. You stay right there and I'm gonna get you something. Yeah. Okay, so look what you and I are gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna do shapes. What is that? I don't want to do that. But do you know what shape it is? What shape is that? <gasps> Good job. Now look, with your cute little leaves. Uh, where is Patrick? You are gonna, I'm gonna get your popcorn. You're gonna make your circle around this circle with your leaves, okay? One red. What about this one? Walking. Three red. Walking. Oh. Which one has the most red? The which shape is that? A cube. The square. Good job. I'm gonna pop you some popcorn now, okay? Okay, so we had kind of a late start. Teo was a little whiny, so as you saw, I did some work with him, and that was a good choice. Got him, got his squares out of the way. And now I am brewing some tea, and we are about to um, have some tea and popcorn and pretzels and read aloud time. So let's get this day started.
and spoon right there and the other spoons. Bit. One cold egg. <laughs> So this morning we're going to continue our amazing yeah. read aloud. Total, total the two week. What? Two, two chapter 20. We're on chapter 20. So we'll go to chapter 25. Okay? Yeah, chapter, no, chapter 30. Chapter 25. Teo, sit down, babe. What? Okay. Um, and then the poet we're learning about, what's his name? Mike Brown. No. no. <laughs> Who are we learning about? Uh, the book is right here. You can read his name. No. Langston Hughes. Yes. Do we remember anything about Langston? Mm -hmm. he, he was a poet. He was a poet. Poet. Yes. Music. Oh, wait, no. That's no, you're right. It, he Yay. was the first poet to infuse the written word with, like, jazz and blues, right? Mm -hmm. We call it blues. Blues is another genre of music. What what makes him a famous African American poet? He put slavery. Ooh, he he wait, he put flavor or slaver? Slaver. Slaver. Flavor. He put flavor. Yeah, I meant flavor. He put flavor in his poetry, and that was like unheard of at that time, truly. Um what are some of the things that Langston Hughes talks about in his poems? Mm, slavery. Slavery. What else? Grandma. Life. His grandma. Life and all the stories his grandma told him. Mm -hmm. What did we learn last week when we went outside and we had the sticks and we were doing what? Drums. We were drumming. Why did we do that? Because and what was that called? Kabuksa. No, a tom 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 tom. A tom tom. Okay, close your eyes and meditate upon the words, okay? You're fine. The night is beautiful, so the faces of my people. The stars are beautiful, so the eyes of my people. Beautiful also is the sun. Beautiful also are the souls of my people. What did that one make you feel? It made me feel like I was up in the sky dancing with the music of notes. That is That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. What did what about you, sis? Mine didn't come with a vision. I mean, yes it did. Well it did. And like, so I was Did like, it make you feel something? It doesn't always have to be a vision. Yeah, but no, but I have this. Okay. So I was with my, uh, so I was with you guys. And look what it said, the souls of my people. It like, it showed a vision. It didn't like show your bodies. It showed the soul inside. Oh, that's beautiful. That just touched me. That is beautiful. Before we read the nocturnals, I have a special book. That's all about fall. So this is fall leaves. Journey, I want you to pass around the cover and I want you guys to examine the cover quietly and then tell me when we're all done, we'll share what we've noticed about the cover. What did you notice about the cover? What did you see on the cover, Bubba? Two humans. Two humans. Good job, Titus. Like them? Yeah, what do you notice? Wait, Mom, I know Gaia. No. Good job, Taya. <laughs> and then, Titus, what do you notice? I see the spoken and the and the and the and the and the and the boat. Yeah, good job, Journey. What do you notice? Uh, please don't be an ant. Oh, it's not. <laughs> what do you notice? Ouch, 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 ouch. The sunset. And if you 
if you just see the warp, if you turn it around, there's them, but it's winter. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, I didn't I even some... see that as winter. I saw it as a, wa a reflection in the water, but you're right. Yeah, the special thing. Wow. I thought you that special thing awesome. That we is, have to read that book today. Yeah, so we are. Weird. Journey, I didn't... I did not even see that. Like, I kidding. saw it, but I saw it as a reflection. I thought it was their reflection in the water. That... That's actually sick. Yeah, that's pretty creative. Journey, I didn't saw that. Good job. <laughs> Mama, I thought All right, that. let's read it, guys. Let's read it. That looks really awesome. Um, we absolutely love this book. The camera, my battery died uh, while we were reading this, but if you can only buy one fall book this season, make it fall leaves. I will link this down below because we thoroughly enjoyed that one. This is our Langston Hughes book, which you saw us read some poetry, poetry from and talk about Langston. And then um, Journey is uh, rereading the first chapter, but this is our read aloud that we are, I highly recommend that read aloud guys. It's super fun. Oh, so yeah. now that it's 1117, we'll super up. late day. Yep. Titus, we're, we're going to, we're cleaning up and then we are getting, um, cool. their book work started. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing school. We're just going to do some book work, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's clean up this mess. All right, guys, so Journey is doing her history research project today. Um, but before that, she is doing her Master Books Lesson 6. So this is week 6, and we are going to do Lessons 1 through 3. It's good grammar. And then she's going to do um, some, some history independent work. And, Journey, that grammar is going to help you with your... Um, with your history research paper uh, um and then this guy well, i just want to play or... is going to be doing some reading and um reading and some work some supplement Can work to... now i know we've been doing a really good job doing our separate lessons but since we're so behind and you have baseball tonight mm -hmm. we're going to do it all together okay, okay. Quietly do your work, okay? But I'm hungry. 
I'm gonna get you some food as soon as I get Titus set up, okay? Okay, all the children yeah. can for, for dinner. It's Okay, hey guys, it is 1241. We have been working hard. We did stop for a little ramen noodle lunch. Sis is now working on her, she finished language. She's, what are you working on, sis? Like dictionary. I mean, no, not dictionary. Uh, um, report on left. Eggerson. Yes, yes, she's working on her Viking report, yeah. and I am about to go spend some one on one time with the boys doing reading. When Journey's done with her report, she's gonna do some reading, and then we're done with our day. So let's go read. Okay, so the boys and I have been reading Little Bear, so we're gonna read um, a chapter in this. They have like four small chapters and then we are rereading uh, a favorite that just I wonder if I can it's focusing on my face focus on here maybe maybe and then we're rereading um, frog and toad all year long because we're frog and toad super fans and then I don't know if that focused oh yeah it did it focused on the book um, so yeah we're gonna read from here and then boys what else are we reading my big set. Your biscuit book. So we biscuit have get ghost biscuit no. plays cat plays ball. <laughs> biscuit plays ball. And what's the other one? You gotta kind of put it in front of the lens. I get it. Flip it around. Flip it around. Okay. Right. Take okay. It off. That was me. Take you need off. to calm down. Look. There you go. Let it focus. Nope, not on your face. There you go. What's that one called? Big sit. Big sit. Goes. Big sit. Goes camping. Good job. And then Taya, what other book are we reading? Biscuits for camp. Biscuits first trip. Good job. Did Titus help you with that? No. no. <laughs> you knew that? Yeah. And then I'm gonna read uh, maybe two short stories from this. I'll link this down below. We're loving this. We have the. Um, no, you can't be on the camera if you do that. Look at me. <laughs> We have the first and the second, so we're going to read some stories from here. All right, and we're going to be quiet so Susan can focus on her paper. Come on.
right guys, so Miss Journey finished her first paragraph on her report and now, um, and now she is going to listen to chapter three of A Little Princess. She read chapter two, so I am gonna let her listen to it. Um, and what I do is I just put it on our speaker. Um, I got this from Amazon, you guys. It's a pretty good speaker. Um, I lost my old one, or no, my old one stopped working. Uh, not of this brand, a different brand. So I'll link this speaker because I love it for audiobooks and jazz music in the morning and all that. So we're going to press play and get this going. She had noticed very soon one little girl about her own age who looked at her very... Hey guys, so um, the kids are done. They Today was a language day if you didn't catch on. So we did read aloud, we did our poetry, we did our fall book um, focus, and then we did our individual lessons. Um, I just finished reading with the boys and they are having some downtime. It is um, 119, so I'm letting them watch some TV. And as you just saw, Journey is finishing her audiobook. So I am gonna take this time to write out everything we did today. And you know what? For this to be a day that I woke up late, I was not on, I hope I'm on fo in focus. I don't really know what this camera keeps doing. Um, this whole video might have been out of focus, we'll see. Um, but for this to be a day that I woke up late, <laughs> um, we didn't do anything normal. The kids made their own breakfast. Um, for this to be like such a not routine day, it was such a good day. And I think it's cause I just let go of expectations and what it was supposed to be. And I just um, was open to the day. And that allowed little pockets of miracles to happen all throughout the day. So mamas, don't get so attached to the plan. I love this planner, but man, if there's one gift I can give you guys, it's don't get caught up in how it's supposed to be. Just live the day how it is and what it gives you, whether that's a hard day or a good day. Um, this day was so good, even though it's not what I thought it would be. Um, and you know, we're gonna have McDonald's for dinner because we have baseball games this evening and it's gonna be a crazy evening, but we did the day and we did it well. Um, and so I'm gonna leave you guys here because like I said, we have a crazy evening. But on days like this, I just reverse plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out everything we did today, everything we accomplished. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click that red subscribe button. If you haven't, give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us. And we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.